what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out funniest wwe bloopers of 2023 we are at the end of 2023 so we got to check out some of these funny moments from wwe or at least funny bloopers bloopers happen every year things that are not supposed to happen so it's good to be able to look back on some of the funny uh moments from wwe whether it's from production crew referees wrestlers announcers whatever the case may be this definitely should be a good one uh video will be brought to us by uh wrestlemania so subscribe to wrestlemania if you haven't already looking forward to this let's get right into this one man a common part of wrestling due to the nature of pro wrestling mistakes can happen at any yeah. time but thankfully some botches are more comedic <laughs> in nature and fans and wrestlers alike can laugh at the hilarious blunders now, 2023 has been an incredible year in wwe yet some of the botches that have been seen across tv and premium live events have made for some of the most memorable and funniest botches mm -hmm. of all time Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 of the funniest botches in WWE of 2023. Let's do it. Let's do it. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also, check out our new website, WrestleMania.com. Number 10, Nia Jax's WWE Return. Nia Jax made her surprise return to WWE at the 2023 Royal Rumble. Jax would return in the illustrious number 30 spot in the Women's Rumble, and what should have been an impactful moment was ruined thanks to a rather comedic blunder by WWE's I production I, team. Yeah. Before the countdown had even commenced, Jax's theme randomly yeah. started to play, mm -hmm. and this led to a moment of sheer panic from everyone, and WWE mm -hmm. had no choice but to start the countdown, even though Jax's music was already playing. Yep. <laughs> I the remember that. The confusion on everyone's face in the crowd was hilarious, and it was a rare Royal Rumble botch from the production team. Number nine. Yep, it world. happens, man. It it happens. It, it's, it's part of the business. Sometimes people misspell wrestlers' names. We've seen that this year. Just misspelling their, their name on the graphic or getting their information wrong. So it happens. The Rumble curse. Speaking of the 2023 Royal Rumble, the Nia Jax botch wasn't the only blunder on the show. When Pat McAfee made his entrance to deliver commentary, he almost fell off his chair. Uh -huh. If it wasn't for a member of the production crew <laughs> holding the chair still, McAfee could have come crashing down through the commentary table. The chairs at the commentary desk would also play a key part in another botch in the show, and this occurred during Kofi Kingston's mm -hmm. latest attempt to avoid elimination. Kingston's rumble save had become one of the most exciting parts of the annual event. Mm -hmm. Yet in recent years, these once thrilling spots have seemingly gone wrong every single time. Yep. In the 2023 rumble, upon being thrown off the apron, it looked like the former WWE champion was hoping to land on the aforementioned chair, but he ended up falling to the ground. It yep. looked like Kingston may have been injured during the botch, but thankfully it was reported that the WWE veteran was completely fine. King yeah, his, his little Royal Rumble spots, they... They, they haven't been working as of the past few years. <laughs> Kingston would take to Twitter to make light of the situation by tweeting, well, the universe has spoken. Rest in peace. Hashtag Royal Rumble. Now, it's unknown if Kingston's tweet meant he was retiring the celebrated Rumble spots. And if that's the case, fans will be very disappointed when the 2024 Rumble fails to feature another heroic athletic spot from Kingston. If it works, it works. But I think, you know, it's it's always been cool for him to save himself like that's a cool one right there but uh i think it's been kind of forced the last few years and they just haven't he hadn't been able to successfully do it so i think if they plan something really dope and he can actually hit it maybe but i don't know i don't think they should focus on it too too much going forward number eight the la slip la mm -hmm. Knight has had a tremendous 2023 LA has emerged to be one of the breakout stars of this year, and his meteoric rise has been an utter joy to witness. LA Knight has had several feuds over the course of the year, including feuds with the likes of the late great Bray Wyatt, we miss Roman you, Bray. Reigns, and even Sheamus. During one of his matches with Sheamus in the summer of 2023, there was a huge botch that could have resulted in serious injury occurring. The botch occurred when Sheamus was sitting prone on the turnbuckle, and LA leaped onto the ropes. But he, he missed, yeah, he fell. And this sent the whole plan spot into disarray. It appeared that LA Knight was going to throw Sheamus off the turnbuckle, yep. but both men would fall to the outside. These types of botches can occur at any time in yep. a WWE match, and it doesn't matter if it's two inexperienced talents or two tenured pros like LA Knight and Sheamus, sometimes botches and blunders can't be avoided. I mean, and he was able to rectify that. <laughs> um, I believe that uh, at SummerSlam in the Slim Jim Battle Royal, he was able to finally actually hit it 
in one go. But, you know, it happens. When you get to that top rope, it can be very tricky. So it, it's one of the things that happened, but he was able to rectify it um, <laughs> in the battle royal, the Slim Jim battle royal. And in a positive twist at the there 2023 SummerSlam event during the Battle Royal, there the we go. replicate the plan spot from the match, and this time they thankfully nailed it. Yep. Number seven, Roman Reigns' slip. But it wasn't just LA Knight who had a notable slip whilst performing a spot in 2023, as undisputed champion Roman Reigns also slipped in the ring live on SmackDown. On the July 28, 2023 edition of the Blue Brand, Reigns entered the ring and attempted to attack Jey Uso. Reigns slipped within the first few seconds of him being in the ring, yet Reigns immediately popped back up to his feet and delivered the planned spot. Reigns which is which is really good of his awareness to be up that quick. Like it looked like it was it was he was supposed to slip. That's what made it, you know, not noticeable. It looked like he was supposed to actually slip, but that was that was good recovery by Roman Reigns there. His recovery was so incredibly smooth that the botch almost looked planned. Yeah. Number six, Seth Rollins splits his pants. A wrestler splitting their pants live on television is one of the worst things to happen. Yeah. It can lead to great embarrassment. Yet when Seth Rollins split his pants on the way down to the ring on Raw, Rollins decided to embrace the hilarious situation. Rollins would later address the incident in a backstage interview, and it was great to see Rollins and WWE make the awkward situation into something that everyone could collectively laugh at. Brock Lesnar also had an mm -hmm. entire malfunction in 2023, as during his match with Cody Rhodes at the SummerSlam Premium Live event, Lesnar somehow managed yep. to rip his shorts. Whilst it was a weird visual seeing Lesnar with ripped shorts, it did add to the idea that both Lesnar and Rhodes had been through a violent back-and-forth battle. Yeah. Number 5, Sammy <laughs> Security Guard. The role of an arena security guard should be able to keep fans, as well as the wrestlers themselves, absolutely safe. Now, it goes without saying that if anyone is going to come through the crowd for an interference spot, then the security needs to be informed, or else things can go horribly wrong. In early 2023, <laughs> during a match between Bianca Belair and Alexa Bliss on Raw, Bliss would become distracted by a man in an Uncle Howdy mask at ringside. As the distraction spot was about to go down, a security guard tried to pull the individual in the mask back. The security guard evidently hadn't been informed of what was uh, planned, and it was obvious that the mysterious yeah. man I think in the mask I, I had think to break character to inform the security guard that he was actually part of the show. Mm -hmm. While some offered criticism towards the security guard, at the end of the day, he was simply doing his job. He's and doing his job, which is good. You want them, it, obviously he didn't know the plan, but you want them to at least be vigilant enough to do their job. So, you know, in case somebody does try some crazy stuff out there if wwe had correctly informed the man of what was planned then this situation could have easily have been avoided number four representing the judgment day wwe's resident ring announcer for raw samantha Irvin is mm -hmm. incredible in her role just like iconic Fantastic. names that have come before her such as howard She's finkel and very Lady good Garcia, Irvin offers a new yet welcome spin on ring announcing at the Money in the Bank event from London, England in the summer of 2023, Irvin showed that even someone as gifted as her can have a comedic blunder mm. from time to time. <laughs> During Bailey's entrance for the Women's Money yep. in the Bank ladder match, Irvin, for whatever reason, decided to introduce Bailey as a member of the Judgment Day. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Irvin had her stables mixed up as she was meant to say that Bailey was a member of the Damage Control faction. Speaking on the Out of Character podcast, she would discuss the blunder and she would issue an apology if it took anyone out of the moment. Just like, well, first of all, I, I was like, hey, I, it is what it is. You know, you got to keep rolling. It's fine. I knew that what the what the women were about to come out and do was far more important than that. So I was like, OK, I'm going to just hit up Bailey after and apologize because, you know, I messed up her intro and she was cool. This she's like, bro, well, whatever. And then she just was making fun of me about it. Mm -hmm. And um, so once I knew she was fine, I was OK. For the fans, for the reaction that I got, I think it um, it made me really realize, like, wow, you you did it. And if I was a smarter businesswoman, I would have done it on purpose because it's been the the response has been overwhelming, honestly. It, so 100... I do apologize to everybody it, that 100... I took out of the moment because that's what I would feel bad about. I don't ever want to take anyone out of the magic of the moment. So if I did that for someone, then I do apologize because. It was not intentional. Number three. It happens, man. It happens. It's it's one of those things. It's it's one of those funny blunders. Michael Cole does it all the time on Monday Night Raw. He'll say someone's name is not someone's name. It's funny. You know, we, we understand, man. It's it, it's it's part of the business. Sometimes you get mixed up and make mistakes. 
it's cool. It's if it took someone out of the match that much, then where they like, come on, man, you shouldn't get that taken out of the match because the announcer messed up that normally doesn't mess up. Like, I don't know about that, but that was it's a light heart, funny moment, and Bailey wasn't tripping. It's all good. <laughs> Three tribal combat confusion. Mm. The main event of the 2023 SummerSlam show saw Roman Reigns defend his undisputed title against Jey Uso. The match would be contested under tribal combat, which yeah. essentially meant that nobody was permitted to interfere. That's and what the match we would thought. Be a no DQ. The distinct stipulation was thrown out of the window yep. though, when WWE booked Solo Sokoa to interfere in the match, <sighs> meaning that WWE had completely botched the main event of one of the biggest shows of the year. Fans were utterly confused, and it was presented as a big deal that Sokoa was interfering. Yeah. It was apparent that WWE had forgotten that the tribal combat match wasn't supposed to feature any interference whatsoever. Things went bad to worse when Jimmy Uso yeah. also interfered during the final stages of the once anticipated match. The tribal combat match was an utter disaster, and it's often labeled as one of the biggest disappointments of 2023. Facts. The, everything else leading up to the match feud, all this was great. And then tribal combat, I'm like, all right, cool. So basically, it's just a no DQ, but none of the family members can interfere. But then they interfere. That's when I was like, yep, they jumped the shark. They jumped the shark on this. They, they completely, I don't know what they were thinking. That was, no. Fun match, but no. We didn't get no answer, no. It would have been cool if we could have seen more of their family members, their elders involved in the match. That would have been cool. Could have had some of the family members saying no. Blocking the no, you can't go in the match. No, get out of here. Something it's it just it was just a no DQ match. That's all it became. Number two, Damian Priest gets confused. Mr. Money in the Bank Damian Priest has had a career defining year in WWE, yet Priest was also involved in one of the funniest yet well recovered botches of the calendar year. Two weeks following the 2023 Royal Rumble. Priest, along with other members of the Judgment Day, would interrupt Edge and Beth Phoenix, and Priest managed to deliver his promo completely wrong. Priest would state that he was going to enter the Money in the Bank ladder match, as opposed to the scheduled Elimination Chamber. It was an awkward yet comedic moment, as mm -hmm. Priest would pause and then realize he got the name of the <laughs> yep. match type incorrect. <laughs> now he recovered well, as he verbally played off the Judgment Day member Finn Balor, and the promo segment was quickly able to move forward. And number one, The Miss Breaks character. The Miz has a reputation for being the constant professional in WWE, yet in early 2023, he had such a funny blunder. The Miz couldn't even help himself in breaking character. The Miz would take part in a promo segment on SmackDown with Austin Theory in the New Day, and in a rare instance, The Miz would butcher his lines. The Miz was supposed to say that there's nothing more dangerous than him having a title on his shoulder, but the words simply couldn't come out, and The Miz started to laugh live on air. The botch was made even funnier thanks to Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. I don't think I've seen this segment. As they both found great humor in the situation. <laughs> I don't they think I've actually the, seen that segment. <laughs> I may have to go back and watch that. I don't think I've seen that segment of him couldn't he couldn't get the lines out, so he just started laughing. I may have to watch that. I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> That's funny, man. It happens. This is it's a part. That's why it's a live show. It's a live show. Well, sometimes they're live shows. Other times they get to record them. But for the most part, it's a live show. So these things happen. These things tend to, uh, you know, be a part of the show. So it's not going to be perfect. Rarely is it ever perfect, you know. But you want to be able to have fun with it, you know. <laughs> so the fact that the Miz, who rarely messes up on promos or anything like that, messed up so bad he just had to start laughing. Like, you can embrace it, man. You can definitely embrace it. But comment down below. Let me know some other funny bloopers from 2023 from WWE. There's been a lot from Michael Cole. Like, literally a lot from Michael Cole himself. So, comment some of those down below if you remember them. But I appreciate all the love and support. Guys, Sean on channel, Road to 150K. And I'm still getting speed of YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.